Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your remaining month of March reading start from the 22nd through the 31st of March 2021. This is going to be for the sign of Leo, so let's see what is coming up for the Leos for the remaining month time. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading, I will be also pulling out some charms as well, so stay tuned and now uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's see what is coming up for you guys for the remaining month's time. Let's begin. Leo's. Nine of Pentacles. Three of Wands. I do see you waiting on for something. Uh, and while you wait, you are taking good care of yourself. While you wait, you are doing all that you need to do to, to feel good about yourself. Add confidence to yourself. It can be you working on your looks it can be you working on your resume it can be you working towards you know improving your skills be that in any area of your life i do see you improving yourself as you wait for something to come in um it can be a job offer it can be a love uh loved one entering in your life it can be you waiting for your shipments to uh, ship to come uh you know it, it can be any area of your life but i feel like you know whatever it is that you're waiting for you are not focused on that waiting uh you know, uh, that you are having for, for that specific person, relationship, whatever it is, you are more keeping yourself busy as, as you wait because you don't want to get into that loop where, you know, it's very hard for, for you to come out of. So you are keeping yourself busy as you wait or while you wait. Let's see more cards here. Seven of Swords and Page of Cups. I feel like you know, whatever it is that you are waiting for, it might take you time. It might take you time to get that one thing, be that a specific someone, relationship, love offer, commitment, whatever it is that you are waiting for. And you do have very emotional attachment, very much emotionally, you are very, you are very much emotionally attached to that one thing. Now, it's very important for you to stay positive, to stay busy. Now, as long as you are keeping yourself busy, as long as you are working on your confidence, it's not going to bother you. The weight is not going to bother you. But I do see, you know, you will be struggling. Why? Because this is going to make you feel like, you know, going to the back, uh, you know, going back to old patterns of dealing with this situation. Maybe you have always, like, you know, uh, got obsessed with it. Uh, maybe you always had some mental blocks around it. So it's a very, you know, crucial time for you because you will have to keep, you know, yourself busy to, to stop repeating the mistakes that you used to mis do in the past regarding the same situation. Especially if it applies to a love life situation, if your person has been like, you know, uh, putting you on weight again and maybe you have the tendency of, you know, picking a fight with your person because they are not giving you commitment and stuff like that. It's very important for you to control your emotions right now and try to work on yourself more than on your connection. It's going to bring you what you want. You have to cut that, you know, cycle or you have to stop that, you know, you going, you know, uh, in circles with a specific someone. A sp you have to break free from that cycle, that circle that you have been going on with that specific someone. How do you do that? By not repeating the same things that you used to do in the past. You have to act differently. You have to do things differently to get the different result. And as you do so, as you stand tall for yourself and as you act maturely and as you take things very stable uh, way, rather than you know getting obsessed, getting anxious, that, that has to go like. You want something new, you want something different from a relationship situation, from any situation that you are dealing with, you have to take it different way. You have to do something different to get the different result. And I feel like, you know, it's going to be, you know, the remaining month is going to be all about that. You have to keep your emotions slightly, um, you know, um, don't be too, too overwhelmed or that you feel the need to express your emotions. Try to, you know, maybe keep yourself busy is, the good, is, is going to be the only good thing that you can do right now. Because if you don't, if you don't keep yourself busy, if you have enough time for, you know, thinking and stuff like that, it's just going to get against you. Why? Because the more you have some me time or lonely time or, you know, uh, free time, you have a tendency of going back to old patterns of dealing with this person relationship, which is not going to work for you this time as well as it never did in the past. So to get a different result, you have to do one thing only, keep yourself busy doing the things that make you feel good about yourself overall emotionally you know good mentally good physically good do the things that you like um spending time with the friends and family spending time with kids spending time out in nature whatever that makes you feel good positive happy about yourself do those things and that's 
gonna you know it's, it's gonna be very easy for you to pass this waiting time but if you keep on waiting for this specific person job whatever it is that you're waiting for and you are doing nothing it's just gonna be the thing again where you waste your time uh thinking about the situation getting overwhelmed getting emotional getting anxious obsessed with with why this is not happening why this isn't this why that this is that that needs to go basically that has to end i feel like you know if you could do that you are definitely getting whatever it is that you're waiting for by the end of this month but if you somehow unable to you know uh control that obsession you will not get what you want you will go back to the level zero again maybe you are almost about there like i said by the end of the month you will be getting what you want but for that you have to stop being obsessed or stop being like you know anxious around it just let things happen and while you wait keep yourself busy that's going to be the theme for you or that should be the main thing for you to focus on you have to keep yourself busy work on yourself work on your happiness right now let's see the oracle now let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys life force express your deriving passion sensual and sexual powers are in increased um, I do see you very passionate during this time. It seems like, you know, for those of you who are, you know, meeting a person and if you are not married to that person, if you don't want to conceive, make sure you use, uh, you use, uh, you know, protection because I do see that can, you know, happen. Uh, if you are, you know, willing to conceive, maybe you can, you know, uh, you can use protection, uh, you can, you can, you know, uh, you can get the good news around it. But if you are a male watching it, maybe there is a chance of your person getting pregnant as well. So if you don't want that to happen, make sure you use precautions for that. But I do see um, there's a lot of passion coming up in this connection that you have with a specific someone, maybe physical, sexual as well. So just be careful with that. Um... Let's see more cards here. I bring you a message from your diseased loved one. I am happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. If you have lost a specific someone and, uh, you know, they are no more with you, the universe really wants you to know uh, they are, you know, safe and you don't have to worry about them. So, yeah, let's see more cards here. Let's see what else do we have for you for your, your love life. Then we're going to take charms. You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. You have to You know one thing, that you are worthy and you are capable of doing anything that you want to do. It's very important for you to stay positive around every area of your life, you know, especially when it comes to your love life situations. If you have been having you know, all, uh, you know, patterns which have been not favorable for you or the connection. It's time for you to change those patterns to something positive, something that's going to boost your confidence, something that's going to make you feel good about yourself. Repeat the same old cycle ever again and get what you want as well. So um, whatever it is that you're waiting for, you will get that if and only if you keep yourself busy. If you don't keep yourself busy, it's going to take ages to come your way. Why? Because you're going to go to level zero again by responding in an immature way is what I'm picking up. Let's see more. Uh, let's see the charms now. Let's see what the charms have to add to the reading for you guys. So we, do, uh, we don't have any alphabet here, but yeah, we do have five of wands, five of cups and nine of pentacles. Stop stressing around it. Stop uh, living in the past with this particular situation work on yourself and that should be the main theme for you i cannot emphasize enough on that put an end to the past old patterns that you might have been following in love life or work life situation you are always in my heart it can be a person's message for you but yes maybe you still have to wait for them to open up about their feelings to you but yes as you stay patient as you work on yourself that person will automatically come forward to express their love for you there is deep, uh, deep emotions in this connection that you have with a specific someone somehow you have to hold yourself back why because the person that you are dealing with they 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 um they will come forward when they are ready so you you have to wait for them and uh, while you wait you have to keep yourself positive so you don't pick up any unnecessary argument or fight with the specific someone uh but yes having said that like i said i do see you getting what you want with the specific someone if and only if you follow uh the path forward which is self-love 
like you know you you cannot ignore yourself and focus on that one person all the time you have to value yourself love yourself first and let that person come to you when he or she is ready don't chase this person don't follow this person try to do things differently to get the different result so yeah this promise it coming up for you for this uh, remaining month time if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care Bye bye